When drawing a building that has two sides showing, you need to find your vanishing points. And often when you try to do that, you can't get the vanishing point on your page. So I have taken four legal side pieces of paper, cut them lengthwise, taped them all together in a nice long row like this, and drawn a black line right down the middle, the whole length of this piece of paper. Then what I've done to make my um, vanishing points work well is I've taken my drawing and put it on top of what I call the eye line sheet. And then when you're drawing your eye line, say from the roof down, you go down and you see it crosses, sorry, the vanishing point, it crosses the eye line here. I put a little mark in here. And then from the lowest corner, I go up and check the mark there. And that will now help me do all of the windows and the doors on both sides. So after I'm done with this, basically I just fold it up, stick it into a plastic sleeve, and stick it in my drawing book, which makes it handy for whenever I need it. Now, when you do have your vanishing points, there will be a video on vanishing points and how you use these for the right vanishing point and the left vanishing point to do your windows, and you will get perfect perspective from doing that. The other thing I did put on my eye line sheet is just to keep myself organized, I, I did the word eye line here, but then on the top of the eye line I wrote above eye line angles down from the closest corner, and that's from the closest corner of your building, which in this case is the cor closest corner is over here. And I've marked it with a nice long line, so when I'm showing other people they can see that this is the closest corner of the building. And then down here, I did below eye line, angles up from the closest corner. So when you see this closest corner and you join the eye line to it, it does angle uphill. So that's my little bit. To find the peak of the barn, this point here, generally people just think, oh, well, it's halfway up and they do it. And it really, it's not the right answer. So what you do is you go from this point down to the corner or from this point to this line because they're both um, connected to the vanishing point and from here to here. So you, you've got your vertical and you make sure you have the eaves in there so you don't go with the leaves and then join the two corners and where the X is you put your ruler and you make sure it's perfectly vertical. You draw a light line. And that light line is the peak of the, the barn. Then the next thing you do is you, you take your angle. You can use your ruler from the drawing and just slide it over and put it on. You can use your pencil to take the angle here and go down like that and this way. But now you get the proper center point of the peak. That works for houses and everything. The other thing now you have, if you can see these lines here, if you're going to put a window in, you take the side of the window that's closest to the closest corner and you, you go at the top of that line and you join it up with the vanishing point, and again it's another light line there. And then the bottom of that line, closest corner, the window vertical closest to the closest corner, and then you draw a line from there to there. And after that, all the windows themselves, they are vertical. So you could space your windows like this, and by following this angle line here, and this angle line here, 
And if you have a cross piece in there, you join those all up to your vanishing point. And that way, you're getting from the vanishing point way off here, you're getting the right perspective on these buildings. So windows and doors, the sides are always vertical, but the tops and bottoms and the cross pieces angle from the closest corner to the vanishing point. Now by the same token, from the left side, these are going this way. This line goes to the vanishing point and this line. So all I had to do here was put my vertical lines in. And that's how you get your vanishing point. Here's the door, straight line, the top of the door, closest corner to the vanishing point. Top of the window and the bottom of the window, closest corner to the vanishing point. And that's how two-point perspective works. This roof also, by the way, <coughs> the point here to the vanishing point on the left, the left vanishing point, it angles that way. And you have to check the angle of this because the roof is a wee bit wider here than it is here because it's closer to us and they have this huge vanishing point that goes way off into up into the sky on the next desk. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Have a great day. Bye.